Armored Core Law, the O63N next. History. The O63N is a product of the Bernard and Felix Corporation, after being held back on their feet by global armaments. This help would come at a price though, as we know, GA's ideas would start to seep into the weapons and necks of BFF, with the weapons becoming more close range, as would this new generation of BFF nexts. The O63N is the perfect example of this, and it seems even BFF would accept this, as from the book Armored Core, A New Order for Nex, page 24. It's during an interview with the BFF representative that Frey will bring this up. BFF Nex have always been long range fighters, however with the latest model, the Next 063N, the concept has been changed to a frontline machine. However, Link's evaluation is that it is better suited to medium range combat than to be used as a frontline aircraft. The O63N series armaments include assault rifles, high mobility missiles, and other items for medium and close range warfare. The response to this by the BFF representative is to say, well you can't suddenly create a shotgun or blade wielding next. The BFF is expected to operate with two of its own nexts, in other words the O47N and the O61N will be shooting near the front lines. This way it will be easy to determine the enemy's position. Next coordinated operations has been a BFF concept since the Lynx war era. The original Walcott siblings did this with the O47N and O49N, and now they're finally starting on their frame for the front lines. Referring to Francesca and Eugene, it seems BFS is very eager to push the front line idea of BFF next now. As such, this is how the O63N and the O61N came to be. Built during the forming of the League, with GA ideas and a little bit of BFF thought. Just what is the O63N? The O63N is a bipedal next that out the box does not come with any weapons. All a Lynx will get is the frame itself, made up of the O63N01 core, the O63N02 head, the O63N03 arms, and the O63N04 legs. They will also get the boosters, which the Lynx may notice are now all GA parts, another hint toward GA's influence over BFF's new builds. That said, comparing the craft to its predecessor, the O47N, you can see on screen that while the O63N improves in a lot of areas including ballistic defense, it's clear to see the sniping style of the past BFF Lynx is not thought of in this build with a large drop in lock on capability and its ability to detect a foe. The O63N is also heavier, has a higher energy cost and has less maximum load capacity. So with the numbers talked about, what can our Lynx expect if they hop into the O63N? Well to start, the top speed with boosters is 451km per hour or roughly 280 miles per hour and over boosting will see that top speed reach 1274 km per hour, or again about 774 miles per hour. It's a fast craft, and defensively for ballistic defense, the O63N will take around 379 armor points of damage from a normal bazooka and 285 armor points worth of damage from normal missiles. It's not bad and certainly means the O63 can play that front run role that BFF seems to be pushing. That said, it's then facing Sumika's energy next where we see the O63N take 1287 points of armor damage, a weakness to energy that a lot of GA craft share. Still defenses aside for a moment, the O63 does offer a lot of energy, and while it can still take to the sky, it's a mixed bag really, as I tried two loads out with this frame, one being long range, the other being medium range. The long range loadout showed the O63N could keep its energy high, but it's questionable if the craft was really at long range and not more medium range. Meanwhile, the mid range build, the craft did hold its energy, but boosting was the real energy drainer for the 603N and left me, as you can see, bunny hopping to try and recover energy. Overall, the middleweight bipedal neck certainly has stepped away from its old roots of being a sniper build. Who can use the sky as their battlefield. Take Mary Shelling as the best example of the O47N in action with this idea. And now it has stepped into the world of being a frontline fighter with rifles being the main go-to. 
Not that this should be so surprising, as history has shown the 047 and used like this by Francesca and her next Helix 1. Still, since this craft has no weapons, I would like to share some loadouts with you to showcase the 063 in action. Starting with a long range build, I went with a classic loadout from its predecessor with some twists. Taking the 063 and AR assault rifle, the 047 and sniper rifle, the 061 and radar, and the 049 and sniper cannon. With this long range build, I went on to tackle the mission Defeat Wonderful Body which showed that while this craft can work with such a loadout, the truth is I'm not sure we were fighting at long range combat. As you can see, the assault rifle is doing all the work here, while the sniper cannon and sniper reload before hitting for good damage. Again, it felt okay, but going back and piloting the 07an, you can feel the locking on and targeting difference. After this, I switched to a middle range fighting style, swapping the sniper rifle for another 063an rifle, the radar for another, the 04 an and finally the sniper cannon got switched with the 063 an PM high act missiles. This felt very natural for the craft, and as Ray said, Link's evaluation is that it's better suited to middle range combat. This I can agree on, as being in this range, the rifles could do their work and the missiles had no problem hitting foes. Granted, in this era, rifles are known to be very effective. The SO3 and to me felt at home with this loadout, and as long as a Lynx can maintain a close to mid range without boosting too much, then the 063 an is a very good craft for this style of fighting. That being said, should it be considered the new sniper next? No. While it can do well in this role, in truth its predecessor, the 047 an is still king, or queen if you will, of sniping nexts. That said, to finish this report, I would like to talk about some of the users of this craft. But really, we only have a single user of the 063 an and that is Lillian Walcott, and her 063 an next ambient. While she is worth studying to see how the 063 an is used by a BFF Lynx, as always, a Lynx should try to find their own loadouts that work for them with a new next. With this, the report on the 063 an comes to a close.